Water issues play a significant role in your GAP audit. Keep diligent records of your agricultural and drinking water test results in your food safety manual. GAP standards require that you test the microbial quality of the irrigation water you are using on your farm. First, contact your chosen lab to confirm delivery times, collecting instructions, pricing per sample, and testing methods. Use sterile containers provided by the test lab. Do not rinse your sample bottles. Taking samples at the source of your water and the distribution point is the best practice. This provides representative results of your entire water system. If you are using surface water, such as a pond, creek, or lake to irrigate, you must test this source three times per year. For well water, only one sample per year is required. However, be sure to regularly inspect the well casing and head, in addition to the annual water test, to ensure that contamination isn't occurring in the transmission of water from the ground source. When you take a sample at the source tap, remove any attachments, such as aerators, before doing so. Turn on the tap fully and allow the water to run for 10 minutes, then take a sample. When collecting samples at the drip end of your irrigation lines, run the water to fully flush the system. The irrigation line should be running at full capacity. Then take a sample at the sprinkler or drip end. This sample will represent the water at the end point of your water distribution. All samples must be collected within a continuous 18-hour period. If you are using municipal water, you do not have to conduct your own water test. Request the water testing results from your local authorities. All samples should be placed in a cooler with ice or gel packs and sent to the laboratory within 24 hours after collection. All water test results must be placed in your food safety manual. Your water test results should be available within 24 to 48 hours. So what happens if your water test results show contamination? Immediately retest the water source and distribution point of use. Switch your water source until you can identify the contamination source and resolve the issue. Possible sources of contamination could include a crack in your well casing, a faulty well seal, contaminated runoff, or livestock or wildlife contamination. To mitigate these issues, consider the following. Repair your well casing. Provide a riparian buffer for livestock around an irrigation pond. Fence livestock out of irrigation ponds and drainage areas. Switch to another source of irrigation water until results are below the EPA standard. Large surface water source issues may require contamination prevention methods such as berms, diversions, and or fences. Sample water aggressively at least once a week until the contamination issue is resolved. Keep all records of water tests in your food safety manual.